So hi hi hi, it's Daniel here. Welcome again to my YouTube channel. So, I miss you guys, especially for those 57 subscribers that I had left here in my YouTube channel. Na, yeah, there are so many things that had happened talaga and yung physical appearance ko compared to what of my videos last time is very different than this one. And and I it is a good thing actually for me and to God be the, the glory that He really changes many things in my life right now, especially through my faith. Maraming nagbago. Marami siyang binago sa buhay ko. And praise God. Praise God. He is a good creator and a lover talaga. He is the number one person who really can change all of us. Maraming yung nagsasabi sa akin. 2020 is so bad. It's not a good thing. Na mara hindi, mas hindi maganda yung impact sa kanila lang nung 2020. But for me, it's a good thing because it led me to change my faith completely to God and also it gives me more time to spend spend my time in the ministry and also to to discipline myself in terms of eating and exercising so yeah it's marami talagang nag change especially last year since September month of September actually so kamusta na kayo guys so, based on our title right now, I am going to share to you things that had happened to me during quarantine. So, so we're still at the, in the middle of quarantine, pero mas ano lang ngayon, med medyo maluwag-luwag lang. Sorry, medyo maingay ha, kasi naka-aircon, tapos, yun nga, medyo maingay yung aircon namin, yun nga. <laughs> so, so, yun, the things... There are many positive things and also negative things that have happened to me during quarantine and and, and last recently then. So first things first is God really bless my life. Pinaka first ko talagang ito thankful sa Panginoon during the 2020 is his presence throughout my life. Di ba nabasa niyo naman siguro sa ano natin sa into that we are going to glorify his name we are going to read the bible all together here in this channel and i will going to vlog my christian life so yun nga the, during those as a teenager kasi you cannot really put all first in the glory of god when you are surrounded by the world the affairs when you are surrounded by scenes just like me Sabi nga nila, Uy, ano nangyari sa'yo? Ganito, ganyan. Anong naging motivation mo to, to lose weight? So, meron merong aspect. Yung first is na, yung magtuusapan natin throughout this video is, first is, how did I lose weight? Then second is, my faith through Christ. How did I repent it all? What sins do I do? And third is, how would I do it in the future on ano ba yung ano pa yung future plan, plans na meron ako so first things first is that during quarantine you saw na mataba ako super laki laki ko then you compare this picture to this picture yeah i'm that kind of person na from 92 to 72 so 20 kilos yung yung, yung talagang minawas ko last year and hindi yun ako, yun yung akong klaseng tao kasi na exercise kasi ganito, gusto ko talaga ganito yung goal ko. Ang gusto ko lang is, yes, I have a goal to lose weight, but as a lazy person, yun talaga, tamad-tamad kong tao, minsan ayaw ko ma-exercise. So, yun ako bumabawi sa eating process ko. So, first, yung first two months ko is that I only eat one cup of rice. Then, very protein, vegetables, balanced diet, then also exercise. You need to have a constant exercise talaga when it comes to yourself so that yung mga fats mo na nag-lose, magbuo siya, parang hindi siya maglaylay, yung ganun. So, itong kind of exercise of mine is that 
yung ba nang nasa apps lang and also i am currently that time i am dancing to through dance songs especially when i am still into k-pop that time because i am not now so that time nung addict pa ako sa k-pop yun yung sinasaya ko yung sa bts so yun medyo naging ano din siya part of my routine then after noon then exercise exercise and apps and chloe ting hindi ko naman talaga marerecommend ko si Chloe Ting kasi medyo mahirap talaga siya. Pero, hindi naman ako palaging nag-Chloe Ting. Yung parang feel ko lang, okay, feel ko na mag-exercise na ganito, okay, I will exercise. Ganon. Pero, for me myself, I did not really indulge myself to the Chloe Ting program because I am asthmatic and hindi talaga minsan kaya ng baga ko. Yun kasi may hika ako. So, yun. Ano lang, exercise lang. Yung parang yung full body workout nga lang. Para mapawisan lang ako. Yun lang yung, yung goal ko talaga for the exercise. Yun. So, after nun, after ng exercise is from one cup, lumipat ako ngayon. Ngayon yung routine ko na ngayon is three spoons of rice. And then, pwede na maraming proteins or ulam. Yun yung, yun yung ginagawa ko. So, minsan nagsiskip ako ng dinner. But, Importantly, do not skip breakfast. Breakfast is the most most important meal of the day. So do not skip breakfast if you are going to have a diet. Do not, do not, do not, do not skip your breakfast. So first, pwede ka naman kumain na medyo marami sa morning, then mid lang at the lunch, then dinner you can skip it or you can have a... Uh, ano lang, medyo magaan lang siya na food intake or you, you can eat quicker oats, ganyan. So that, makalas ka. So, ano lang talaga, actually, this kind of routine of mine, it doesn't, ano talaga, apply to everybody. Every, any kinds of body sizes or any kinds of body, all kinds of body, hindi, hindi siya applicable kasi iba-iba naman yung ano ng katawan natin. So, ito lang talaga yung mga bagay kung how did I lose my weight throughout this quarantine. So, and also, nung ano na din yun, is part of that is, siguro pagiging busy ko sa ministry, is, we came, became a part of it then. And, and ako, pray with the Lord, because Lord, help me to lose weight kasi without God, He cannot do all things kasi because God is the only way. Even if, my, I, I, even in that kind of things, I always praying to God every night, Lord, help me to lose weight, even if every week lang, kahit makalusa ko ng 0.5 kilograms, ganon. Lord, I, it's so very, very helpful to me now. Or every, sa ano, two weeks, three weeks, makalusa ako ng ganun na weight. Because, without God, He cannot, give us the wisdom and he can guide us if we, we are going if we are not going to seek it to him so yeah yun yun yung naging ways ko how to lose my weight then second is that second part na tayo so <laughs> ayun nga ano last year di ba sabi ko sa inyo maraming nakakaalam sa inyo na my parents are pastors yes And there are the things that you cannot imagine na ang anak ng pastor magagawa to. First things first is that before ako nag-repent fully kay God is I am a pornographic addict. Then I am an idolater. I am a, what they say that I am I am into reading fantasies and I'm so addicted to love stories, that kind of things na yun, yung Wattpad, yung pagbabasa ng mga ganun, then yung K-pop. Yung sabi nila, some Christians are defending themselves that, yeah, K-pop is not an idolatry. It's not a, and we're just admiring their songs. We are not idolizing them. But still, kaya nga idols ang tawag sa kanila, diba? They are K-pop idols. So, they, you are idolizing them by being addicted to them and by di- being addicted to their songs. I'm not saying that you should stop, but you should realize the things that will happen to you. Especially for me. They are so, nagkasakit ako noon. Grabe yung, kasi ako yung allergy ko. Grabe yung impact sa akin. Parang magliligo ako ang hapdi-hapdi na katawan ko. Gani, ganun. Ganun magpanin si God when you are not listening to Him. Kasi... Ako, ilang beses na ako pinagsabihan ng parents ko. 
Yung nag ilang beses na ako tinap ni God at saka pinasabihan ni God na no stop that things, stop mo yung panonood ng ganyan. Small especially right now the BL series. Hmm. Walang makakaano yan. BL series, I am one of those persons of those people na nanonood talaga ng BL series. So, sabi nga nila na yeah, ang ganda ito. Fetish ko yung mga boys. Ganito, ganyan. Hoy, marami na akong napanood na, na, na mga BL series na ito yung ganyan. Yung mga BL series na yung movies na talagang makikita yung ano. Yun yung fetish ko noon. But right now, I, I stop it all already kasi yung ano nga, yung mga albums ko, yung light stick ko, pati sa BTS, yung ganun. You see, I am an avid fan of BTS for almost 6 years. No, going through 7 years na pala ngayon. 6 years na akong fan ng BTS. Since, nag, since the last time na nag-stop ako. So, for almost 6 years of being a fan of BTS, I did, I did say to myself that I am going to be their fan until the end. But still, God has a promise for me, has a lots of plan for me that I cannot say na, Lord, dyan ka lang, unahin ko muna sila. No, it's not like that. And also, when you are denying to yourself na, oo nga, hindi nga sila, hindi man, hindi naman idolatry yung ginagawa ko. I'm just admiring their songs. Ni, hindi ganito. No, you need to stop that kind of thinking because you are just saying to yourself, go and go and go, being addicted to them. I am not stopping you because it's your life, but I am, I am just advising you that if it is still early, stop doing the things that are not of God. And if you are a Christian and you are doing those things, may I remind you that you are compromising your faith here. You are putting your faith and your beliefs on danger zone talaga. Kasi ilang beses kami nag, kasi dati, as in ilang years ako pinag, pinangaralan ng parents ko nun. Pinabasa pa ako ng libro about idolatry. Tapos marami silang pinabasa sa akin. So, and umabot talaga sa point na si God na yung nag-tap sa akin to the point na He punished me with my sickness to the point that I realized na Lord, I will give you my full time I will give you everything because of these things and you will not imagine that a daughter of a pastor that can do that things bakit niya nasabi na eh, hindi ka ba na-ashamed o bakit ka ba nag you are so bold to say those things na nagawa mo yan you are so bold to share to other people that you have done those things. Bakit? Because I know that in the front of my father, I am already forgiven. And all of my sins are all cleansed. And yes, I am boldly enough to say this because it could be a testimony to others that even how dirty you are, even how uncleansed you are, even how unfaithful you are, but in the Lord, if you will just come back and give Him another time and give Him your full heart and offer to Him your life and you will believe in Him, He will give you another chance even if how sinful you are. Sabi nga ni Lord, ba? How big is your sin Malaki ba yan ng kasalanan, malit na yung kasalanan, is this still the same in front of God. So, when you when it's still early, you can repent. Repent from your sins. Repent from everything that you have done and full give Him your full time. I, it's been a really good thing for me that God has stopped me before I graduated high school because, because He changed my life plan. Yung plan What kind of plans kaya yung pinipare sa akin ni Lord nun? What kind of plans kaya yung na-change sa akin nun? So, as we wait for part 2, and I hope by the part 1 you have learned things that really, really reflect on yourself then. And I hope you will share this to your friends so that I think they it could amaze them, it could be also their life 
life testimony. So, I hope, really hope that you will share this to all your friends. And right now, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And please join me to our daily Bible doses. Join me in our daily Bible doses every Mondays to Fridays. And my vlog will be posted every Tuesdays and Fridays. And I hope you will share this one. And you will join me also every morning for our daily Bible doses as we read the Bible and as we learn about the Bible. Thank you everyone and please again like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and push the notification bell down below so that you will be notified for our new videos. And please comment down below any questions that you want to ask and I will answer those questions for you. Thank you everyone. May God bless you all. Have a nice day.